Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Language Lesson 137. So boys and girls, let me ask you this. Do you have a best friend? Most of you do. I have a best friend I talk to on the phone all the time. My best friend is kind and considerate. We've known each other for a long time. Do you have a best friend? Well, let me tell you something about the prepositions that we learned um, yesterday. These prepositions, they have a best friend too. And you know how you call your best friend? Some people say BFF. Do you ever tell someone, oh, that's my BFF? Yeah, they have a little short name, little acronym for best friends forever, right? So today I'm gonna show you about a best friend of the preposition. But we don't call that person your their BFF. We don't call the uh, best friend of the preposition the BFF. We're gonna call that preposition a, that um, object of the preposition. So the way I want you to write the preposition, so when I am labeling a sentence and I know that that word is a preposition, you're gonna use prep, period, that's preposition. And the best friend is going to be the OP. Now you're saying to yourself, hmm, OP, that doesn't sound like best friend but it does stand for opposition, object of the preposition. And that object of the preposition, we're going to show you, we can find that in a sentence. Look up here on our board, we have a sentence that says, the dog is in the box. The dog is in the box. Think about our prepositions and tell me the preposition in the sentence. The dog is in the box. Which one is the tattletale word? Remember the preposition is a tattletale word that tells where, okay? In, very good, in. If I asked you to underline the preposition, you would underline in. In is the preposition. We label it P-R-E-P, -E period. Now, the prepositional um, phrase is from the preposition to the noun. Now, that object of the preposition is either a noun or a pronoun, okay? A noun or a pronoun. Let's talk about what we remember about a noun. A noun is a person, place, thing, or an idea, right? A pronoun is a substitute to that noun, like he, she, it. So I have in, and where's the noun that comes after the preposition? That's box. And box is a noun, not a pronoun, it's a noun. And now everything from the preposition to the noun or pronoun is the prepositional phrase. Repeat after me, prepositional phrase. Good, so I have the preposition, I find the noun that comes after or pronoun and everything in between is called the prepositional phrase. Let's try it again. I swam across the river. Where's your preposition? Across, very good. So you're gonna put preposition. Now what is the noun or pronoun that comes after the preposition? That's river, correct. River is your noun, we'll label that with an N, capital N. And where is my prepositional phrase? Remember, it's from the preposition all the way to the noun or pronoun. Here we go, noun, preposition to the noun. Understand? Okay, let's go. keep going. Amy is visiting with her grandmother. Where's the preposition? Do you know? Think about your prepositions. Very good, with is my preposition. Preposition. And the noun or pronoun. Now you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, I see nouns and pronouns. Her is a pronoun, but not in this sentence. Think about it. Her grandmother is, the her is not a substitute for he, she, him, or her. It's not a substitute for 
you know, Miss Best, right? Her could be a substitute, but not in this sentence. It's not a pronoun. But grandmother is a pronoun, is a noun. Grandmother is a noun, and that would mean that our prepositional phrase starts with with, ends with mother. Understood? Very good. And our last one here, mom went to the grocery store. Mom went to the grocery so store. Where's the prepositional phrase? I'm sorry, where's the preposition? To. She went to. Okay. And where's the noun that comes after the preposition? To the grocery store. Your noun would be the store. Very good. Store. Now, you say to yourself, but there's two words in between. That's correct. The two words in between are also part of your prepositional phrase. So let's take a look on your seat work paper. Boys and girls, this is how your paper looks on page 207. We're gonna do a few from each section and you are to finish during your seat work time. Let's start with think A. They want us to put a box around the preposition and a circle around each object of the following prepositional phrases. So beneath the dark blue ocean, beneath is our preposition, and ocean is our noun that comes after it. How about for a yellow flower? Where's your preposition? For is our preposition. Sorry about that, a little sloppy. Stand up and do this. Four is our preposition and our noun that comes after it? Yellow, I'm sorry, flower. Okay, how about letter B? Letter B tells us to underline the prepositional phrase in each of the following sentences. Underline the phrase. So they have here, um, ye are the light of the world. So it starts with the preposition of, so the rest of the phrase should be the world, mi with milk, okay? It's not always at the end of the sentence, but you stop at the noun that is the best friend of that preposition, okay? On the back of our paper, you should have thing C. Place the parentheses around each prepositional phrase. I am glad that I go to a Christian school. Find the preposition, that's where my uh, phrase starts. That's two. Find the, the noun after the preposition, that's school. And our parentheses stop there. Okay, during the school year, we learn many things about the Bible. Let's see here. Well, I see during, that's a preposition. And where's my noun? During the school year. Year would be our noun. And that's where I end my prepositional phrase. But I'm here to tell you, there's more than one prepositional phrase in this sentence. I have this as my prepositional phrase during the school year, but there's another one. Do you see another preposition? It's here at the word about. And where's the noun that comes after the preposition? Bible. And so my prepositional phrase ends there. So there could be two prepositional phrases in one sentence. Make sure to find all of them. How about thing D? We have thing D, John Bunyan is the author of Pilgrim's Promise. They want you to find the prepositional phrase and circle the object of the pronoun, the best friend. So of would be my prepositional word and Pilgrim's Promise is the noun, it's a book. That's the end of my prepositional phrase. He wrote this book while he was in prison. 
preposition word in. Noun that comes after the preposition prison. And my parentheses goes after that one. Okay? And finally, remember E is to label each of those parts of speech by writing NV pro adjective, adverb, or preposition. Go ahead and fill that out, boys and girls, and we will see you back for lesson 138 tomorrow. Have a great day.